hello. It's good to see you. Today, we are going to take a look at my grocery shopping from Aldi. I go there every week. I get most of our uh, groceries there, whatever I can get there, because it, it really, around here in my area anyway, it is less expensive, and I like a lot of their products, so I have, it's like a win-win. I like this stuff, and it's cheaper, and I have always been of the opinion that you should not pay more for something if you don't have to. And I will probably be that way the rest of my life. I don't think that will ever change. So I got so much stuff today. Now some of it I paid for separately because it's some stuff that I'm going to put on eBay. Um, but I got... There's more than what you're going to see here because I got two 24 packs of the uh, waters that they have. The, um, what is it, like 16.9 ounce bottles of water. I got two of those. Those were $2.25 a piece. I got some chicken. We're going to do some hibachi chicken tomorrow night. So I bought a great big pack of chicken breasts. That was $8.86. And I have all of my stuff for my lunches in the refrigerator. I'm going to actually show you, show you that in just a little bit. Um, I'll show you what I take for lunch every day. I've shown it before. But uh, I take my lunch every day. I do not go out for lunch. I go I go pick up lunch somewhere maybe once a year um, when I'm working, you know, like I just started working full time in an office last May. I have been out to lunch twice and those were like related to my job and it was like a group lunch and we all went and it was paid for. So, but as far as going out to get lunch, I don't ever do that. But again, like I say, I do it like once a year. And it saves a lot of money. I mean, if you add up how much you save just taking your lunch, and I take breakfast too. I don't ever get breakfast on the way to work. I always bring something to eat because I get to work, I get to work pretty early. So usually I just wait till I get to work. I get there a little early and I eat when I get there. But I take something with me to eat. I don't stop and pick anything up. If you add up just for one month how much you could save doing that, it is incredible. It is so much money. Um, so I got everything for my lunches for this week and the things I named a minute ago and um, a few other items that are in the refrigerator like I got some milk and celery and there's some other things in there. It was $102.83 for everything and I think that's these days that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. So um, like always, I'm going to start out with the crinkly stuff that way. Later in the video, if you're trying to sleep or you just don't want to hear it, you're not going to be disturbed by some shocking crinkle because I do have two aggressively crinkly things here today. So I'm going to show you those first. The first one is a bag of garlic knots. These things are delicious. Oh my goodness. They really taste like something you get in a restaurant. And at my Aldi, they are, I think they're $2.89. And you get eight garlic knots in here. You bake them right in the bag. Um, what you do is you turn the bag upside down, poke some holes in the bag, and you bake them for, I think it's like eight minutes. They are so incredibly delicious. These are so good. We all love these. They are savory garlic. All you have to do is heat them and serve. And they bake right in the bag. And they have this beautiful garlic butter on them. They're fantastic. They're so good. Um, now these are from Love and Fresh. So this is an Aldi thing. And you have your little logo just like you have on the bread that we look at. L apostrophe O-V-E-N Fresh. And you have the little L-F there. The stalk of wheat. With a little hash mark on the F. These are delicious. I love these. I don't buy them every week. I buy them maybe once a month or so. But they're so good. Sometimes I'll just bake these and we'll just have some of these. And this isn't dinner, but I mean, like, we'll have this and maybe some chicken or something. I don't know. It's very simple. And they're so good. And they don't have to be refrigerated. You can leave them on the counter. They are totally fine. And they are wonderful. Pretzels. Um, I don't buy these all the time either. I, I've kind of cut out buying a lot of snacks because even for the stuff like this, it's just gotten so expensive. 
for me, it's, it's, I've realized in the last year or so with a lot of items, um, the prices have gotten to the point that I just, I wouldn't pay that. It's not that I can't afford it, it's that I won't afford it. Like, I'm not paying $6 for a bag of chips. I'm, I will never do that. I won't pay $6 for a bag of Doritos. I'm, it's not going to happen. So, but this is a good example of how much stuff has gone up. So this is a one pound bag of pretzels here. Now these are from Clancy's. That's another Aldi brand that you're going to see on a lot of snack items like chips or pretzels. Their corn chips are really good. I like them better than the Frito-Lay chips. I think they're less greasy. They're not as salty and they just, to me, they just taste better and they're a lot cheaper. But this bag of pretzels here, um, I would say two years ago, you could have bought at my Aldi for 89 cents. These are now $1.99 a bag for the same size bag. So it is more than doubled in price in, I would say, less than two years. So it is rare that I buy these anymore. Um, and I don't buy Doritos. I don't buy Takis. I don't buy any of that stuff. Because I'm just, I, I refuse to pay what the stores are charging. I think it's ridiculous. I won't pay it. So we don't have all the snacks that we used to have. So it's all for the best anyway. But these are great pretzels. They're really good. They taste just like rolled gold pretzels. Um, you have this big open spot, uh, spot here, this window. Now they have the sticks. This is usually what I get. But they also have the little pretzel knots. Usually I just get the sticks. So if you don't know what pretzels look like, you can get a clear, almost a panoramic view of the pretzels in this bag. So you'll know exactly what you're getting. So yeah, these are great, but they have more than doubled in price. So I don't buy them that often anymore. My younger son likes uh, Takis and Doritos and stuff like that. So anymore, if he wants those, he uh, he does chores every week, and he can just use his allowance to pay for it. I, I'm not going to pay. I won't pay for it. Plus, I think it's good for kids to learn, you know, how to, you know, how much stuff costs and stuff like that. So I've taken them both to the grocery store to show them, like a little field trip, to show them how much this stuff costs. And it, I think it was educational. <laughs> like, they couldn't believe how much stuff was. Like, really? Okay. The next item we have is another Lovin' Love Fresh item. These are the hamburger buns. And the little logo is kind of squished because it's held together up here with a twist tie. These at my Aldi, they were 99 cents for a while. They have now gone to $1.29, but still it's cheaper than pretty much anywhere else you could get the, um, hamburger buns. Even at Walmart for their store brand, Hamburger buns, they're they're about a dollar fifty nine, I think. And I think all these are actually better. <laughs> they're more dense, like this just like there's more to them. I like the hamburger bun bag because it has this pretty blue. Look at this. It's like the white bread has that dark blue and then that brown stripe. And then you have the little LF logo going around. I just think it's pretty. Look how pretty that is. So look at this. You see that little blue circle right there? And you'll also notice barcodes all over the place. The big one on the back. That makes it easier for them to scan things very quickly. They don't have to waste time looking for a barcode. But this blue circle tells you that this product has the Aldi twice as nice guarantee. And that is a wonderful thing. Like say you bought these hamburger buns and you got them home and you realized they had mold on them. Maybe you didn't see it, and you see that they have mold on them. You should always kind of check because, you know, no matter where you buy bread, that can happen. I mean, it, it happens. So just kind of look them over, you know. I try to do that. Um, but if that happened to you, if you still have your receipt, well, even if you didn't, they'd probably take them back anyway. If you still had your receipt, you could take this back to the store. They would give you your money back. So you get your money back that you paid for them and they will give you a comparable item for free so you could get another bag of you could get some more hamburger buns or whatever and they will give you back the money that you paid for them 
So it's it's almost like you can't lose. I mean, I guess you're you're out your time going back there, but you don't have to worry. Like if you want to try an Aldi brand product and you're not sure about it, if you wanted to, if you tried it, I, I haven't done this, but if you tried it and you didn't like it, you could take it back and get your money back and get a comparable item for free. Pretty much all I have taken back was one time I bought some canned cat food there, and when I opened it, it was it was bad. I mean, it was it it had gone bad, so um. I took it back um, mainly just to let them know you might want to check the rest of the cat food. You, you know, it may all be bad, um, but they gave me my money back and they gave me some, I think actually I ended up getting some dry food instead. Um, I think, I don't remember how that worked out, but they were really nice about it and it, it's great. It was a wonderful experience. I have another Love and Fresh product these have gone up as well. It's all gone up. Except for the white bread. It hasn't changed. These are Love and Fresh pre-sliced bagels. And I always know when it's the bagels without even looking because I know that it's going to have this Carolina blue border going around it here. That beautiful Carolina blue. The sky is Carolina blue today. And the brown stripe in the middle, of course. And the Love and Fresh logo. So that's the blueberry. They have different flavors. Um, I think the everything bagels, the, the border and everything is red, I think. And then they have the plain ones. And I don't remember what they are, but these used to be a dollar third. I remember when they were a dollar thirty-nine. Now they're a dollar ninety-nine. But still, like I say, compared to most other stores around here, it's still cheaper. So you get six bagels in here. They are pre-sliced. My older son loves these. He just eats them right out of the bag like they are. I'm not crazy about them. They're okay. There's a free range blueberry. Look at it. It's not even attached to the bagel. It's just sitting on top of it. It's ready to run as soon as you pull it pull it out. Man, that one's going to be gone. It's going to go under the counter. You're never going to find it. Or under the, the cabinet there. You're never going to find it. Somebody will find it 50 years from now. When they tear the house down, that blueberry will roll out from under there and somebody's going to go, look at that petrified blueberry. And we have, we have more bread. I have a gracious abundance of bread here. This is mine. Now this is going to sound weird, but this is what I do. This is a bread. Now this is also an Aldi product, but it's not Love and Fresh. This is Simply Nature Organic bread and it's called seed tastic this is the thin sliced bread now you can they also have a larger loaf of this same bread and it's sliced thicker and it's a larger loaf of bread i like this one this is part of my breakfast every morning when i go to work i will take three slices of this bread with me and i eat two when i first get there along with some grapes i also have a huge bag of grapes in there i have to show you these grapes they're they're massive. So I will take a little baggie of grapes and this. And for my breakfast, I will eat two pieces. And then later, about 10 o'clock, I eat the third piece. And it, it's very filling. And that's it's, it's a very filling little bit of stuff there for breakfast. And I also have an apple that I eat at about 10 a.m. So that is my breakfast. And I can get a loaf of this for about $3.29. And it's very dense. Seed-tastic. Thin sliced bread. And it has this pretty yellow up here. Well, I like that. But yeah, they also have this in a larger loaf. But I find that this size is perfect. I, don't, I, get, the, I get the big loaf if they don't have the small ones. This one, honestly, I think is, is just fine. So a loaf of that will last me more than a week. And so that's, that's part of my breakfast when I'm at work. When I'm here at home, I hardly ever eat it. It's weird. I only eat it when I go to work. And then, of course, we have the good old-fashioned Love and Fresh Classic White Bread. This bread at my Aldi is still only 50 cents for this 20-ounce loaf, full-size loaf of bread. Now, it's not... They've changed it. It used to taste different. Now, it's like more spongy. I'm not crazy about it. 
but it's okay for like grilled cheese. We make grilled cheese occasion occasionally. It's pretty good for that. French toast, stuff like that. It's good for that. Or a sandwich. I mean, it's fine. But it's only 50 cents, you know, so I think that's a deal. Now, just like the hamburger bunch, you're going to see it has that beautiful dark blue on there and the Love and Fresh logo right above it. And you do have that pretty dark blue going around the top here, too. And the twist tie right here. Now, if you look at the Seed Tastic bread, they don't use a twist tie on that bread. They get fancy with it. They put this little plastic clip on here. So they do it a little differently. It's really good. I went for a long time and would not try that Seed Tastic bread because to me, it looked like it looked like it would be really dry. It's not. It's not dry at all. It's it's really good actually. So we do have our dark blue with the brown. It's great. And I have one other loaf. This is what I make my afternoon snack with. Um, we have vending machines at work. I've never frequented the vending machines even once. I take a snack. It's kind of a weird snack, but I, I eat the same thing every day, and I never get tired of it. If I get tired of it, I'll change to something else. But on over at about 3.30 in the afternoon, I start to get hungry. And I have found that if I take this 40-calorie, loving fresh wheat bread, if I take three pieces of this, and I have some turkey lunch meat that I get at Aldi, put a little bit of turkey in there, and I don't put mayonnaise or anything, because growing up we never did that. We never, we hardly ever put mustard or mayonnaise on sandwiches. Sometimes we would, but uh, I eat it dry, but it, it's fine. I don't have a problem with it. But I would take one of these, and I, that's an afternoon snack, and it's perfect, because a lot of days I go straight to the gym from work, and I don't get home until a little after 7 o'clock at night, so it's just enough to kind of get me through so I'm not completely starving before I get home. It's just enough to keep me from feeling like I'm going to starve to death. Now this one's kind of different. This one has this white border and the brown is lighter. It's very different from the others. All of the others, this brown is a lot darker, but here it's like beige. So it's a 40 calorie and it's really good. And you see it's full size. It is uh, 20 ounces. And it's, you know, a lot of light bread is small and, and doesn't taste very good. This actually tastes really good. It's a nice bread. It's not dry. It's perfectly fine. So pretty much all day when I'm at work, my, my breakfast, my lunch, my afternoon snack, it all comes from Aldi. And I will show you my lunch shortly, what I, what I take for lunch. And I think it's all, well, no, it's not all Aldi because I also will take... A little 20 ounce Pepsi Zero Sugar. I get those at Walmart. They don't they don't have Pepsi products at my Aldi. I heard that at some they do, but in mine they have Coke products and then their own sodas, which frankly I'm not crazy about. I don't like their soda. But I don't like any store brand soda, so that's just me. Look at these strawberries. I think I got all the well, most of the crinkly stuff. I'm excited to show you these strawberries. I'm gonna open it in a second. I'm gonna show you this. Look at these. Central West strawberries. These were, I think they were $1.69 for a container. And I have to show you how big some of these are. Look at this strawberry. Good God. That's like, a, I could just take one of these. There's one in here that's even bigger. Look at this. It takes up the whole bottom of the... Well, I thought it was bigger. It's actually not. These things are gigantic. <laughs> Aren't GMOs great? <laughs> I mean, frog DNA probably. Like, woo like you got legs. It looks like a tooth. <laughs> I will never get this closed again. I was never good at Tetris. I don't know how to rearrange these. This one's even larger. Oh. <gasps> They're huge. They're enormous. So sometimes I'll also take some strawberries for a little snack. The size of these, I could just take one. My hands are clean, by the way. Yes, they are. 
I've been handling other stuff. These will get washed before they go anywhere. Okay. Or at least rinsed off. I can't close it. <laughs> I'm going to have to eat one so I can close it. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> I'm going to go put these back in the refrigerator and I'm going to show you what I take for lunch. So this is my salad. This is the little salad bar. And they have different flavors. They have a Caesar salad, chef salad, and sometimes they have other uh, types. This is the Santa Fe style salad. I love these. They're $2.89 a piece. And you get your little thing of your, I don't even know what you call it, um, salsa ranch dressing, your chicken, cheese, corn, and the lettuce is down here. And there's a fork in there. I take one of these every day. I, I, for a while, I tried making my own salads, but I ended up wasting a lot of the stuff that I bought. And I found that these, actually, I waste less with these because I'll eat the whole thing and nothing goes to waste. Um, I know there's plastic and stuff, but honestly, I waste less. So that's why I buy these. And I love, I love this yogurt right here. It's from Friendly Farms. That's an Aldi brand. You can see it has a little blue dot there for the twice as nice guarantee. This is the black cherry flavor, and it's so good. It's delicious, and these are only 60, 62 cents a piece, and it's really, really good. The raspberry is also really good. I'm not crazy about the strawberry, but the I think the black cherry is my favorite. So I will, this is my lunch right here, along with my little Pepsi from Walmart. And look at these beautiful grapes. They are enormous, look. They're just they're huge and they're very firm oh they're just oh they're they're like the autumn crisp grapes it just says they're premium green, green seedless these were $2.29 a pound and they are so good I had to eat that one I stuck my fingernail in it <laughs> so I will take some of these and I will have some of these along with my little my breakfast you know and it's so good Another item I keep in the refrigerator, and I'm going to go put all this back, is this bacon from Appleton Farms. Now, this is 18 ounce, no, I'm sorry, 24 ounces of bacon, and I will cut this in half and use this for part of a meal and this for part of a meal. We do breakfast for dinner sometimes. I'll make like some eggs and some toast and stuff, and I will make half of this. I just line a pan like a cookie sheet with aluminum foil. And, uh, and I'll put them in there and I'll bake them in the oven at 350. It's a lot less messy than trying to fry it in a frying pan. But this big thing of bacon here, and it's really good too. It's, it's really good bacon. This is the Applewood smoked bacon. Normally I get the hickory smoked, but they were out of that. So I got the Applewood. This is only $6.69 for all this bacon for 24 ounces. Now I used to love to buy the Hormel Black Label bacon. It has gone up so much for a little 12 ounce package. It's like $12. I will not pay that. That is ridiculous. So, so that's 12 ounces. So it's half this size. So it'd be $24 if I bought this much Hormel Black Label bacon. And I, there is no way I would pay that when this is only $6.69. And it's really good. It's beautiful and it's tasty too. And when you cook it, it doesn't cook down a lot of bacon you know you buy it and it just shrivels up to nothing this doesn't do that and I also have some corn on the cob they haven't had corn on the cob lately but I noticed they had it today so I picked this up it's Fre Freshire Farms sweet corn and I'm gonna boil some corn tonight we'll have that with some salt and butter and I'm gonna go put this up the next thing I have is actually a little bit crinkly, but not bad if you pick it up tenderly. Now, I haven't tried this yet. I love biltong, but I haven't tried the Sims biltong. This is an Aldi product. Um, Sims is, they make all kinds of different dried meat snacks, basically, jerky and stuff. And I have another product of theirs here, too. And it comes in a resealable pack. You probably do have to refrigerate it after you open it. But it's a nice little protein snack here. This is the original flavor. They do have different flavors. They have teriyaki and there was one that was Hawaiian 
and another one. I wanted to just try the original beef biltong here. So you have these little notches and you're just going to remove this part and then there's a little zipper seal that you can close up. So it's just a little 2.25 ounce package. So I just bought that to try. And another thing I don't buy super often, but I decided I would go for it today, was uh, some croissants. Now, I don't really eat these, but my kids like these. They're from the Bake Shop Bakery, and that is an Aldi thing. It has the twice as nice guarantee on it. They also have the little mini croissants. These are the regular size croissants. These are $2.99, but you can get the all-butter croissants for $3.99. These taste fine to me. <laughs> they're, they're okay. And I got a bottle of ranch dressing. This is from Tuscan Garden, which is an Aldi brand. This is basically doubled in price in two years. These used to be 99 cents. I was just looking at the receipt. So this used to be 99 cents. They are now $1.95 for a bottle of ranch, but it's still cheaper than a lot of other places. And it tastes fine. It tastes totally fine. Now this is an item that is not, it's not something they have all the time. They have this little seasonal food section where they have stuff for a limited time. I discovered I love this soup. It is so good. It's from Campbell's and it's home style, Mexican style chicken tortilla soup. It is so good. Get some little nacho, um, get some tortilla chips and crumble them up in there. It's delicious. It has a little pop top on it up there. And this is about $1.95, I think. It's, it's less than $2. Two of my cats are arguing. They get rambunctious sometimes. I do have four cats, so occasionally I have to pause to deal with a cat issue. So anyway, yeah, this is great stuff chicken meat with no antibiotics. It tastes nice. It's really good. They have several different flavors, but I really like that one. This is another Sims product. It's like uh, Slim Jim's Mild Smoked Snack Sticks. These are actually really good. You get 14 of the little, the little smoked snack sticks in here. And I forget how much these were. They weren't too much, but they just taste like Slim Jim's and crackers. God, these have gone up so much. These used to be less than a dollar, or they were right at a dollar. I'd say 99 cents. They're now a dollar 69 a box. I pay attention to how much stuff costs. I mean, I notice because I buy a lot of the same stuff every week or every other week or so. So I pay a lot of attention to the prices of stuff, but it's, I mean, it's everywhere. It's not just all but this is from Savor It. That is another Aldi brand that you will see on crackers and certain types of snacks. Like they have their own version of uh, Keebler Townhouse crackers that are really good. They're called Clubhouse crackers. These taste, to me, these taste like Zesta crackers. And they're perfectly decent. I mean, they're saltines. It's kind of hard to screw up a saltine. I don't think anyone has succeeded in screwing them up. As far as I know, they're all kind of they're, I mean, they're fine. Um, so, toaster tarts. Toaster tarts. A box of pop tarts this size is about $5. These are still $1.45 a box. And they have three flavors. They have this one here, the strawberry. They have uh, chocolate fudge and uh, brown sugar cinnamon. Now, in this box, you get 12 pastries. They're in little full packages, little full pouches. One, two, three, four, five, six, two per package. I'm not a fan. I've never really cared for Pop-Tarts, but my kids like them. Sometimes they'll have one for breakfast or something. This one I didn't notice until I got home, but it's actually a little boo-boo right there, like it got squished. It's fine. Um, these are the frosted chocolate fudge. They didn't have any of the brown sugar cinnamon ones. So I just got these two boxes here for them. So they're only $1.45 for a box of 12, which anymore is a pretty good deal. Those actually haven't gone up a whole lot. They've basically, they've gone up a little, but not much, especially compared to some other stuff. Clancy's also makes microwave popcorn. This is one of my favorite things right here. I love this right here, the Clancy's 
movie theater butter popcorn. It is so good. And when you pop it, all of it pops. You might have one kernel that didn't pop. It is really good. Oh, it's uh, it's four seventy nine. This was four seventy nine. So it's gone up about a dollar. I remember when it was less than four dollars. But still, a, a box like this will last us quite a while because my kids don't. They eat it occasionally. I'm usually the one who makes this. Um, so again, you have the Clancy's logo up here, just like we saw on the pretzels. They have the little red uh, oval, and then you have the Clancy's name in the middle. And it's it's really good popcorn. I like it. If you haven't tried it and you like microwave popcorn, definitely give it a try if you can if you can get it uh, if you have an Aldi near you because I think it's really good. They have it over in my Aldi. It's over where the chips are, um, and the dried fruit and stuff like that, like the raisins and stuff. They have it usually over there somewhere. It's kind of like a mix of stuff, and usually you can spot it in there. The last food item I have to show you is these. This is another little snack that I take to work. I will take this box with me to work. This is also from Savor It. You can see the little logo up here. These are like Ritz crackers. They have three flavors. They have the original wheat and the garden vegetable or something. I like the wheat ones and I will keep these in my desk and if I, if I feel a little hungry I'll just eat a little handful of these crackers right here just by themselves. And it's just a nice little a nice little snack to have in my desk drawer. I also keep some of the uh, is it Millville? The Millville granola bars, like the Nature Valley granola bars. I have some of those too. Occasionally I'll have I'll have that. And sometimes I have this. So I have a little bit of variety so I'm not tempted to go to the vending machine at all. So yeah, these are great. They're really good. I honestly I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like the Ritz crackers, like the brand name, they've changed over the last few years. I don't know if they changed the recipe or what. They just taste different. They're not as good as they used to be. The Savor Ritz crackers, like the originals, taste just like what Ritz used to taste like. It's like they have the original recipe for Ritz and they didn't change it. I think they taste better now than the brand name, like original Ritz crackers. I think they taste better because I think they changed the original Ritz crackers. So that is all of the food stuff I had to show you. I do have some more stuff in the refrigerator like um, I bought a frozen pizza and some chicken, some other stuff. But I think to get all of that for less, hundred basically $103, I think that's a pretty good deal in the, the two 24 packs of waters as well. I think that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> The last stuff I have to show you is just a few little things that I picked up on the Isle of Shame. Now Aldi did do a release of some new merchandise um, a couple of weeks ago. I didn't buy any to show. Um, I just bought a little bit to sell on eBay because <laughs> I, I am an eBay seller and I find that it, it does, the Aldi stuff does pretty well. Although I've noticed with this release, it's not selling like the other stuff is. I think they've kind of saturated the market with it. So they had a lot left over. There was tons of it. They had sweatpants, um, sweatshirts, a windbreaker, um, socks, reusable drink, insulated drink holders, stuff like that. And they had tons of it left over. It looked like a lot of it didn't really sell very well. So I picked up some. It's not on clearance. They, they, they almost never put this stuff on clearance. They will leave it up there for weeks and weeks before they put it on clearance. Um, they actually still have a bunch of backpacks from the last release that they still have not put on clearance and that was like three months ago and it's still there and it is still full price. It's crazy. But I picked up some sweatpants. These are men's joggers. So I'm going to be putting these on eBay because I, you know, I want to. So I like to list stuff on eBay just to stay in practice because they do change how they do things from time to time. I've been an eBay seller now for 25 years and I continue to do it. But these are really cool navy blue sweatpants. They have this lighter blue pinstripe and then they have the Aldi logo going down the side of the leg with the Aldi colors. Also the German flag colors. Somebody always has to tell me that. I know. German flag because it's a German company. 
These are the men's joggers. I heard somebody say that the men's joggers have pockets, but the women's don't. I don't know if that's true, but um, these, these come in men's sizes, medium, large, and extra large. So I picked up a, an extra large that they had there. And the, then I got the matching pullover. You can actually see the, like the, the logo has these puffy letters with the Aldi colors, A-L-D-I. And here you can see how it looks. It has gray uh, bands at the neck and the waist and the wrist. And then it has the, lo the Aldi logo again down on the right sleeve down here. So it's labeled as Aldi gear up there. And they had small, medium, extra large, and extra, extra large. I don't know why they skipped the large. You don't see that very often. Usually they have them in, you know, small, medium, large. And they skipped large for some reason. That's kind of weird. I just noticed that. Um, actually, with this one, the neckband is the same color as the shirt. It's not gray. But in the picture, it looks gray for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, it looks like a fun little top. Look at that. So it matches the pants. And they had these little belt bags. I got three. I found three different styles of belt bags. Little, a little Aldi gear belt bag. This one's nice. It's navy blue with the Aldi logo embroidered on it here. And the belt back here has this plastic Fastex buckle. And this buckle is also plastic. And the light blue zipper. This one's cute. Here's a, a light blue one, and it's hard to see, but it has that little Aldi logo on it. It's very subtle. This is sewn onto it. Aldi. It's an Aldi thing, and the strap has all the colors, too. Look at that. Very pretty. This one zips here and here. Oh, yeah, this one does, too, so it has two zippers on it. So this was not part of the $103. This was separate. This one has the pretty stripes and it's white and it has a navy blue little waist belt here. And it also has the two zippers, the one back here and the one up here. So, yeah, I think that's very, very cute. So that was not part of my grocery purchase. That was a separate thing. But that is everything I have to show you today from Aldi. I do love shopping there. I've saved literally thousands of dollars over the years shopping there, and that's that's a great thing. <laughs> that's a good thing. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. I really hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.